Greetings everyone, Sab Yoga here. And today I felt the call to share a very important topic. I feel it's came to my heart today. I had an interview earlier with someone and I was talking about the different divisions within humanity, the programs of division. And I talked about uh, toxic masculinity, talked about LGBTQ, talked about feminism. So in this case, I wanted to address uh, feminism and understanding the deep root causes of why I believe it's formed <clears throat> and the purpose behind it. So this is coming from a, a male's perspective. And I just felt the call to share it. So I know a lot of women in my life uh, suffered a lot of trauma from men. And I would say in the form of whether it's a father, a brother, a partner, a husband. And my understanding is for a woman to get to the point where she identifies as being a feminist is because there's a deep psychological wound and physical wound and trauma that's embedded in the person. She's been traumatized. And understanding that the woman's or female's reference point of a man has been completely dismantled and corrupted. And I understand it's, in essence, the, the trauma is what breeds the hatred, that breeds the division between the feminine and the masculine. And I believe it's always been God's plan to create the opposites, the masculine and feminine. So, I use my mother as an example. She never had a really strong man in her life. Whether it was my father or my stepfather. So I understand the psychological deep embedded wound of her not willing to trust and when the trust is broken, the heart is closed. And when the heart is closed, you're not able to receive love or sometimes even give it on a deeper level. You may think you say you're giving love to someone, but when, when something comes up or a trauma or trigger comes up, that wound is going to react and then you have a trigger towards something. So, so when there's trauma, it can bleed into every part of your life. It can bleed into, for instance, situations with men, not trusting men at all. And it's a hard, it's a hard wound to heal on both sides. So in essence, I'm talking about the female's perspective, why women become feminists. But then, in essence, they're taking on the role of being a masculine man. They're taking on the same trauma and identity. Reinforcing the perpetual cycle and trauma. And I think, in my honest opinion, I think the way to heal that trauma and that wound is learning to trust again and forgiving the oppressor I know it sounds hard. I know it's unfathomable for some people. But in essence, I had to learn how to forgive those that wronged me. So, I believe for the woman, female, to heal, excuse the loud noise, um, learning how to identify the wounds and learning to face them and accept them and come at peace with them 
forgive the other person, the, the man that harmed them, and forgive themselves. And I believe that when that truly happens uh, from a genuine place, and I know it's not work, it's not easy, but when the woman is healed, the wound is healed, and the acceptance, then I believe the heart can slowly start to open again to trust. Therefore, she may be, able, may, may be able to attract the ideal partner into her life. That's going to give her the love that she deserves and that she wants to receive. There's another part of this as well. I, I think that sometimes you may, sometimes, not all, sometimes, that you may subconsciously attract a partner into your life. A bad one. And my belief in essence, I feel, I feel like everything happens for a specific reason, good and bad. And as, even as in the form of a teacher, that your oppressor or this person that's abusing you is your teacher in essence. Teaching you how to forgive, teaching you how to love, teaching you how to trust. So this event happens to you, unfortunately, in my opinion, for a specific reason. And it's up to you to do the work. And I believe this is why God put us here because we have the free will to agree to the terms of the pain and the suffering and the trauma and to keep on perpetuating this energy into the next person or partners or into your kids are learning the essence of forgiving yourself and forgiving the person that harmed you so you can truly move forward and set yourself free. So, uh, my thoughts on healing the feminism construct or program. And this is more of many, so I'm, I'm going to touch on all the programs. But this one in specific, I just felt the call to share. Because I know a lot of beautiful women in my life that suffered um, from physical abuse. People, women in my family have suffered from physical abuse from men. Psychological abuse. I suffered a lot of mental and physical abuse from fathers as well, father. So I understand the deep and embedded trauma and wound that comes with this. So I just felt the call to share and learning to, for, for you all women out there that are suffering and still hate men. Um, this is the work that you can't, you can't carry this shack on this weight forever it's going to carry on into the next generation and the next partner or whatever person you deal with it's going to translate to that person and i know deep down inside you don't want to hurt anyone else but the wound and the trauma will so i just my my advice and my share from my heart is to learn how to forgive yourself and forgive the other person learn to lead with love Work on the trauma, identify it, work with it, sit with it, sit with yourself. Focus on healing the trauma instead of perpetuating the pain. I hope this message resonates with you all. And stay tuned for more of these episodes. There's a lot more things I'm going to cover from my heart. Sab Yoga sending you love, peace, and wellness. And remember to lead with love. Love yourself, love others unconditionally. Blessings. So my other solution to the problem, because my whole thing, my mentality is never to focus on the problem, but essentially focus on the solution. And my solution is all you men out there that have trauma from your fathers, um, you can't be okay with this concept of feminism. 
can be okay with this concept of toxic masculinity. Can be okay with it. A real man is the provider, the rock, the foundation. Uh, the leader, the protector of the home. I can't say I had the best reference of father figures, but I can say in my healing ceremonies, I've experienced manhood. In such a profound way that I, I, I understood the concept And it's up to us to heal these wounds. So for men, manhood is being a provider, being a leader, being a mentor, strong person to come to for your family. And I think only then when you step into that role as a man, uh, women can open up and fall into their fem into their their femininity. This is just how I feel my thoughts. But man, we can't be okay with feminism. We can't be okay with a uh, division in humanity. All these programs of division, we can be okay with it. So the, and so this is for the men that are out there, the one, the ones, the real ones that understand what I'm saying. You know your role. Be the man for the woman, for your wife that's going to protect her and love her. No verbal abuse, no physical abuse. We can't repurpose our trauma onto the ones that we love. It's not gonna work. So we have to update our programming, install the new update. And that update is love. Love for yourself and love for your family and love for your woman, girlfriend, wife, mother, sister, whatever. Be the man, be the rock and support for them. I'll have a video for um, toxic masculinity as well but this is in in a specific for women that are into the program of feminism and I understand why you are the way you are but you can't hold on to this trauma and pain anymore because it's not serving both parties at all so I just want to leave that with you all that men step up be the man for yourself if you don't know how learn Watch an interview, watch a podcast. Heal. I say, man, if you have to cry, let it go. Don't hold on to it. If you have to cry, let it out. Don't hold on to it. Because that turns into disease. So, love you all. And um, love is the answer to everything. God's love. Peace and blessings. Sabbath.